guess. Patrick, what was the feeling in the locker room and just what did you tell yourself um, to have a better performance in the second half? Yeah, I think guys just had to dig deep at the end of the day. Um, obviously, the first half didn't go the way we wanted to. I thought the defense did a great job of keeping us in the game. Um, and then in the second half, we just executed executed better. Guys relied on each other, believed in each other, um, and we were able to find a way to get a win. Patrick, it seemed like um, in the half, some of your throws were kind of low, like, like uh, hey, my guy's going to get it or nobody's going to get it. Like the touchdown to Tyreek, like the third down play a little bit later to uh, Travis Kelsey, short pass. Was that intentional? I mean, were you, were you trying to put the ball where only your guy could get it in the second half? The, the, the touchdown one, I was trying to just get it to him as quickly as possible. The play was kind of designed for Kels, actually, and Tyreek just kind of split, so I just I, I put it on him as quickly as possible. The, the third down one, I got to throw a better ball. I mean, uh, he, he he broke out, and they were driving it fast, but if I put it on his body, it isn't as difficult of a catch. He made a great catch on it. Patrick, what, what, can you take us through that play at the interception late in the first half? Or it's just not something we, we've seen you do. That's bad. <laughs> it's, that's the best way. First off, I dropped the snap, trying to get out of there too fast to get it to Daryl. Um, and then I picked it up, was going to try to run outside, and then saw Trav, and then the rest you can kind of see. It was, it, was, it was bad, but, I mean, you got to bounce back in this league. It's, it's going to look bad. It's probably being like, oh, come on, man, or something like that. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, you, you got to find a way to win games at the end of the day. Defense got to stop. We were able to... Uh, go out there and score in the second half and bounce back. Would you tell yourself at that point? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I mean, <clears throat> I think the biggest thing was the guys kept believing in me. I think that, that was a big thing to me. I mean, Orlando, Travis, Tyreek, all those guys came right up to me, and they are like, you keep being you. Like, we, we know you're competing. We know, we know who you are. Uh, don't let that one thing affect how you play. And you saw it in the second half. I kept doing stuff, kept throwing – uh, cross my body and doing all that different type of stuff because I know those guys believe in me and I'm going to keep being that and keep fighting to the end. Patrick, we talked, you know, obviously the Kelly two halves, three first half interceptions, second half much, much, much more cleaner. What did you all say in the locker room? I mean, because, you know, because it seemed like at times when you were maybe trailing 13 to 10, it seemed like you may have been trying to put pressure on yourself to, for the team, putting pressure on yourself to try to get back and get back into the ball game quickly. What did you all do at half? I mean, anything that the coach said to you or I don't know if there was anything said. I mean, I mean, people people talked obviously and, and said different things. I think the guys just just really just dug down and and played. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it, that's what it takes in this league. Every single week's a battle. I mean, you're going to play. They have good football players. They have they have a, a great defensive line. They have a great defense. Um, but you have to battle. You have to battle to win in this league every single week. And I thought guys did that in the second half. Is they just went out there together and we just played. And I, at the end of the day, that's what it is. You have to go out there and play, try to execute the plays to the best of your ability, and uh, leave everything you have on that field. And whatever the results are at the end of the day, you have to you have to be able to live with that. Patrick, I, I, I know the I know the completion doesn't get in the game book because of the turn because of penalties. But what is the best feeling when you scramble like that and do throw across your body and it is a success, even if it isn't in the stat sheet? Uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's definitely it's it's fun to talk about after. Um, but I mean, it, it's it's. I saw. I actually saw the flag. I thought they were holding Kels, mm -hmm. and so I, I I rolled to the right and I threw it across my body to Tyreek. Ended up being a flag on Kels. I haven't seen it. Like uh, so, a little bit more riskier than when I when I threw it, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, I knew there was a chance if I got it to Tyreek because everybody was going to the right side of the field and it was man coverage, um, and he got the ball. And I mean. It was like N1 mixtape at that point. I mean, I, I haven't seen it all exactly, but I know at one point he had stopped, and I thought he was out of bounds, and then he kept running. So I know that a lot, a lot of crazy stuff was happening out, out there. A couple more guys. Patrick, what like you and uh, Nicole are developing a little bit more chemistry uh, down at Bill Balls, or, or you guys want to feel like you, know, you guys are, are coming together as one? Well? Yeah, I think all the guys are, are battling. I mean, when you play a team like, like this, I mean, they were kind of doubling Tyreek and traveling those third-down situations. That's where you saw me running a little bit. And then you saw plays like to D Rob at the end of the game and to McColl down the sideline. Um, and if teams are gonna they're gonna do that, they're gonna try to take away our two best guys in certain situations. Other guys gotta make plays. And uh, you saw that today. Uh, I mean, you, you saw the one to McColl, obviously the D, to D, D Rob, and unfortunately, I mean the one to Jody is kind of the similar situation. Um, and so uh, it's a uh, it's it's gonna be like that all season long. Teams are gonna keep playing us the same way, force us to be patient, and then uh, let make us make other guys make plays. And we have to trust in those guys to do that. Last three. Yeah, I saw him. I mean, he's in good spirits. I mean, obviously, uh, we don't know the extent of, of whatever it is, or at least I don't know. Um, but hopefully, it's not as bad as, as it looked out there, and uh, we can have him back. You go stand by him. I mean, yeah, stand by him now. Uh, 
I think I understand it just as the good as to agree, but do you feel like that was a really important half to put together there in the second half? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, 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 the way we did it, even though it wasn't pretty in the first half, I mean, I feel like kind of hopefully will get us rolling. I mean, uh, we had another b bad first half, and it could have spiraled right there. I mean, it could have, how this season's gone, the adversity we dealt with, it could have, it could have spiraled. Um, but I thought the guys, it was a lot of mental toughness to, to go back into battle and, and to go out there and believe in each other. And the defense, the way they play today, I mean, that, that offense has been putting up points. I mean, they, they, have a, they have some playmakers over there, and for them to hold firm while we, while we were struggling, I mean, that's what it takes in this league. It takes everybody. It's not the offense, it's not the defense. It's, it's everybody together. Uh, coming together at the right time to, to be great, and that's what we want to be. Bye. Patrick, you, you, you were talking about the reassurance you got from the guys after that one play and how it just sort of helped you. Like, how much, when you have a play like that, is, is it, does anger at yourself fuel you, or do you have a compartment for it, or is it a little bit of both? What, how, how does that work in your head? I mean, I just I move on to the next play. Uh, I mean, it's... This league, you're gonna you're gonna go through adversity. I mean, we've we've been blessed enough that I haven't had to deal with a lot of that early in my career. Um, but uh, I mean, I've had a lot of interceptions this year. It's not a secret. I um, mean, you kind of have to just move on. You have to just kind of keep playing because at the end of the day, if you're the interceptions, I mean, they're on the stat sheet. But if you're getting wins, no one really cares about them. So you have to find a way to win games no matter what it takes. Last one, Adam. Patrick, I know Adaro Williams has played some over the years, but did you learn anything about him today? Kind of the regular piece you've got. I mean, I think it's just what I've always known about him is he's going to battle. He's going to run for those tough yards. And if he gets a crease, he can, he can make some plays happen. Um, I think you've seen that in big moments uh, of his entire career. Uh, and, and today was a big moment for him to step into that, that, that kind of that number one role. And I thought he did a great job doing that. Thank you. Thank you.